This is how I suggest you pick out your perfect shade of foundation in the store without any help. So you go into the store, you see all the bottles laid out, you want to position yourself in between three to five shades that you look like could match you. Undertone doesn't matter yet, just get to the shade range. Like I know that I'm always going to be in the light range. I'm not going to be in fair unless the brand only has like six shades. I'm definitely not going to be in deep and I'm not going to be in the medium. So I position myself right there. Then pick your undertone. If you know your undertone, then just select a foundation bottle with your undertone. This is probably the hardest part if you really have no idea. There are certain sort of rules of thumb, like pick if you look good in gold or silver, look at your veins, if your veins are green, you're warm, if your veins are blue, you're cool. But sometimes with makeup, these things don't actually line up and I've seen some kind of olive skins have blue veins, stuff like that. So I don't necessarily like to go off that. If you really have no idea which one you are, you don't know if you're warm, cool, neutral, pick a neutral, swatch it on the jawline. Then if that neutral looks pink on you, you're probably going to want to look at the warm foundations. If that swatch looks yellow on me, you're probably going to want to look at the cool foundations. Um, that is a good rule of thumb to just narrow it down and see what looks best. Swipe a shade that's in the middle on the jawline and just see how that looks. I'm going to start with this one. So this is one and double zero. Now I don't have all these shades and to be honest, I'm not so sure if any one of them is perfect, but this is just what I would do in the store. So I start with this shade, go ahead and swatch it on my jawline. And right away that looks a little light, but the undertone doesn't look wrong. It's a neutral undertone, looks good. I'm just looking a little pale. So let's go down and let's try the 1N06. This is the next lightest shade that I have, closest to 1N0. And you'll do the same thing. Just take a little bit and swatch it on the jawline. And that looks closer when I back up. There's not a huge disparity between my chest and that color. It's a little dark for me. I'm sort of like right in between these shades, but I don't really have a shade in between because I buy every other one and just mix them together for clients and stuff. But then I would go ahead and try another, another shade. So let's do one and 10, but I just want you to get the gist that this is how you're going to try stuff in the store. And actually that is not bad. So to narrow it down, we have all these stripes, right? If there's anything glaringly bad, it'll show right away. So let's just say I go in with this one, which is a 3Y38. I'm not warm enough for this. I don't feel pretty in warm foundations. And also it's just way too dark. So when you swatch it, you see it straight away. This is an instant elimination. But with colors that are closer to your skin tone, when you blend them in, you can easily pick one because the shade that totally disappears will be the one for you. So let's blend all these. It's obviously this is too light and this is too dark, but these two look really good. And I think this one here, one and 10 is disappearing. So let's go ahead and try that on my whole face and see if that works. Because ultimately when picking a foundation, it's going to be that one that disappears and that one I can't really tell, can't really see it. So that was the one in 10. I'm almost out. Okay. So this color looks like my shade. It looks slightly darker than my neck, but when you open it up and see the chest color, it's a pretty good match. I don't have a color in between. Maybe if I was in the store, I would try one one shade up, but I don't have it here. I'm not a cosmetic store, but from here to here, it looks pretty good. And then I can just foundation the neck because now that it's summer, we want this to look the same. We don't want the face to be overly dark and then have that line of demarcation. It's like a 2008 nightmare, or you don't want to be like a floating head. And in photos, you look white here and tan here. It's just sort of like, the opposite version of that problem. So let's just finish off the face with the one and 10. 
This is also the glow formula, which I really like the glow formula, but you definitely have to set it if you're oily like me. Um, I'm a little greasy for this. Mm, it is pretty though. And that looks good to me. That's how I would suggest going about color matching in the store. If you wanna go online, then I'll have to do uh, really quickly a separate little video after this one because shopping online, it's a little different because you can't try it.